Cap Metro making some changes. You're taking a look at the roads right now where commutes could soon change. Cap Metro is making changes to more than half of its routes. CBS Austin's Courtney Shoneman is live now with riders who are a bit shaken up about this big change. Courtney? Yeah, they are. Well, this is the biggest overhaul to Capital Metro service in its 32 year history. The agency says this will improve frequency and reliability, but some of the riders we talked to today are not happy about the fact that the routes they rely on every day could be eliminated. A lot of people use this route to come to work around here. How are they going to get to work without the route? Carlos Leon often rides Route 22 to get to the House and Public Library in West Austin. It's also the site of Capital Metro's first public meeting to get feedback on the proposed changes. The changes range from very slight to, in some, in a few cases, elimination of the route. Jackie Nirenberg with Cap Metro says 44 of the agency's 82 routes will be altered, but she assures it means better access because of the move to high frequency. That every Every 15 minutes on all our free high frequency routes, they'll be able to come out to the bus stop and get on the bus. But for riders like Steve Kimball, well, why are they going to eliminate them for his bus been here for ages? So I just don't, I don't get it why. And for Carlos Leon, frequency doesn't matter if the bus isn't going to and from the locations they need. They're going to stop this route about a couple miles back that way, so there'll be nothing running down here. According to Capital Metro, the plan was already approved earlier in the year, but the board will vote on the changes in November and will go into effect in June of 2018. But we are interested in hearing people's feedback on whether they understand how this is going to affect them so that we can help them manage their um, commute. Now, if you have questions or concerns about a specific bus route, there are going to be more public hearings throughout the rest of this week and next week. We posted the locations and the times for all of those on our website. That's CBSAustin.com. We're live in North Austin. Courtney Shoneman, CBS Austin.